Uh, I think that a lot of people that are trying to sell you a bill of goods and trying to convince you of maybe uh, stuff that doesn't necessarily align with your best interests are probably trying to get you to do all of the uh, language model stuff, the large language model stuff. And I think that that's fundamentally wrong. And we should resist that with every ounce of our body. One, because if we do adopt these, we're going to be paying them a fortune for not that much output. And on top of that, we're going to give big tech full control of our lives. We're going to basically hand over the keys of our life to them if we go down this path. On the other hand, if we shift the narrative to small language models, this will at least give the smaller companies and smaller institutions. And by smaller institutions, what I mean is places like Stanford and MIT and Berkeley and University of Pennsylvania, small, right? In that these are these are massive institutes, but they're not trillion dollar companies. It will allow the large majority of the world to make forward progress in this space. And it will also keep big tech honest because they won't be able to control the narrative and we will become kind of like slaves to their bidding. Uh, on top of that, I think that this will actually unlock things that will save the planet and will allow the, the, the collective human race to move this forward. Very much like how open source has taken over the world. Like there is a, for those of you who've been live, alive long enough, you may remember the days where Microsoft was completely anti open source and open source didn't really exist. And now the narrative has completely changed to where open source is the primary form of software. And it's critical to the proliferation of technology and software. We are at the same type of inflection point today with the future of programming. That if we don't make this shift to small language models, as well as using foundational elements of deterministic AI, it will be like not having open source, the new open source, uh, which is this thing.